and for a while it was assumed that maybe it was some kind of a hematite or something similar we find on Earth, but recent analysis and recent very thorough investigation revealed something entirely different. By using several missions including ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and all of the rovers active on Mars, researchers almost definitively confirmed that the redness here comes from a mineral known as fairy hydrite, a water-rich iron that usually forms in relatively cold conditions and in environments with somewhat neutral pH that we now believe Mars potentially had for billions of years. Which means that when Mars became red, it was no longer warm or possibly never was warm to begin with. And this simulated Martian sample basically recreated the color very well. This is iron-rich fairy hydrite mixed with a bit of basalt to make it appear just like Mars. And because fairy hydrides here seem to represent most of the iron oxides on Mars, here this is a really important confirmation for what Mars must have experienced for a very long time when it seems to have lost its water and when it potentially finally changed its color. So at this point it was very likely somewhat cold and drying out pretty quick. 